Uh, let's go to Michael Einstein Adatella in uh, Morocco. Uh, why are election observers always worried of speaking the truth? Uh, for example, in Cameroon, uh, the first uh, people who actually endorsed the election, what a lot of people have called, quote unquote, sham election, were the African Union observers. Yeah. They called it, uh, they gave it a clean uh, bill of health. And I've been to a number of elections, and the first thing you see is the African Union observers or East African uh, election of observers saying, there were a few problems here, but uh, by and large, these elections are acceptable. There are two reasons why they say that. First, they really never monitor these elections as thoroughly as they should. Mm -hmm. They make some spot checks at the, the, the polling stations, and so they superficially see uh, a good election, a fairly smooth election. But second, they hesitate or they fear being accused of having incited, say, the opposition uh, to perhaps uh, a prize, because if they declare the elections to be uh, unfair, to have been stolen, what does that mean? It means that uh, they have literally uh, called on the opposition to reject these elections. Maybe and, sometimes and that's what it takes, because we've seen these leaders who use that and uh, stay, yeah. stay put. Yeah, but uh, who, is the, Africa, who is the example. African Union? The African yeah. Union is made up of the African leaders, and the African leaders are the ones who literally <laughs> sending their observers. own people. Those are their own people. So un unless you have an independent body, especially in Africa, that is recognized and respectable, you will never expect the African Union observers to say this is a, this is a sham election, which sometimes it is the case, but they don't say that. But, but uh, we've seen examples of uh, other observer, or observer teams uh, from here, the United States, uh, from the European Union, say the same thing, uh, when they clearly know there were issues. Uh. For me, I think, first, they never really get the opportunity to see those issues. Most of the observer teams have been on the ground. They go there, when do they go there? They go there a few days before the elections. Rigging, stealing of election, interfering of the process, that months before. So what they see is very superficial. So they do acknowledge many times that they saw a few problems because that's all they get to see. They don't see the real issues. So if you went to an election in East Africa, for example, say you went to Kenya, the people who really know what's been going on are some local NGOs who start observing the process two years before. They'll tell you what is the problem with the Electoral Commission, what's the problem with the process of uh, uh, recruitment uh, of the electoral officials something that the observers who come in two weeks before, one week before, will never have a chance to see.